A talented autistic artist drawing the Brisbane skyline from memory has enthralled crowds at the State Library this week. Stephen Wilshire finished his masterpiece today ahead of schedule and reporter Anthony Donaghy joins me now. Anthony, I can't wait. What's the finished artwork like? Well, it's a remarkable four metre canvas from the view of South Bank. And as we take our way through here, you can see the newly built Santos building on George Street, and then beside it, the famous Batman building, and some would call it the Lego building. As we make our way over Victoria Bridge, you can see our heritage listed uh, casino building and uh, one of our little ferry stops here. Uh, just here to our left, we've got obviously we know this as the Casino Towers, and beside it is uh, 111 George Street, where in fact our signal is being broadcast off back to Mount Cutha. And then beside that, we've got Got the government building and who could do a drawing of Brisbane without our famous mangroves they're just down here and quite you can see quite expansively our river obviously being the River City and then just here we've got um, we've got the Captain Cook Bridge and the Goodwill Bridge and we all are sports fans so you can see the lights of Wool and Gabba now what is quite remarkable at Stephen Wiltshire's work is that he only saw the city for a couple of minutes he went up in a chopper and then took a drive round and it was from memory that he was able to sketch this amazing piece of art he used pens and pencils now I can say that his work is very expensive. In London it can fetch over well over $15,000 but lucky for us it has been uh, financed by a local businessman so it will be framed and be uh, made public for people early next year. Yes an amazing effort. Thank you very much Anthony Donaghy at the State Library.